They got Empedic, got like a <laughs> Empedocles. You want to take this Empedocles? Oh, no, I'll, I'll let you take this one because I'm going to get it mixed up a little bit. Oh, the Minotaur. Sometimes just a dude with a bull head, sometimes just everything sort of both. Looks like they're in very close quarters, which would be accurate right because they would literally just ram into each other. I feel like this hand to hand combat is pretty brutal. I don't know about the fire sword. All right, hi, welcome to Experts React. I'm Brad Holmes. I teach classics, mythology, and ancient history at a private high school in Los Angeles. And I'm Kyle Smith Laird, and I teach Latin to middle school in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Today, we're going to be looking at some footage from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Let's get into it. Before we get started today, we wanted to let you know about Gameology's crazy new channel, Gameology Forecast. This is their new page for all things gaming, teaching you everything you need to know in the world of video games. Having fun whilst learning new things? Who would have thought? Jam-packed with content not seen before from Gameology, you'll find plenty of insane videos like Tips, tricks, and hacks for that one game you've been struggling on. Top 10 videos. Discovery compilations of new or hidden gems. Reviews of newly released games and more. Also, don't forget to check out Gameology's other channels. Send noobs for your fill of virtual reality and even free games you should absolutely check out yourself. As well as Gameology Shorts, which is full of all the short, sweet gaming videos you could ever want. So those are three potentially brand new New channels for you to go and check out right after this video. All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what Gerard she says. Butler. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Sparta. This is Sparta. Oh, the Pythia. Oh, the Pythia. The Pythia. The Pythia has spoken. So the Pythia was the celebrated prophet, and she spoke after inhaling fumes in a special cavern and they would translate everything she said into Greek and then give uh, whoever was inquiring as to what their omens would be the message. Usually the message was nebulous enough so that it could go either way or another. They look like dramatic masks, like you'd wear in a, to, uh, putting on a play. I don't know if the priests would have worn those masks. They call them cultists, so I imagine they're, the masks are to preserve right. their, pr their privacy amongst like Greek society. I suppose. Like, I don't know if there's any record of the priests of, at the temple wearing masks. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. That's not she great. would never have spoken She to would never episode. have told the Spartans to just let the Persians invade them and conquer them. That's not accurate. Maybe they paid off the cultists that ran the thing. She wouldn't even, and not just that, she wouldn't have ever been that specific. No. Because she, there was some sort of toxic fumes that were coming up, and presumably she was, she would like rave some sort of incomprehensible speech, and the priests would make it into some sort of short poem and say here, and it kind of meant whatever you wanted it to mean. We are ready, my king. All right, so we're going back to the Persian War before we get to the Peloponnesian War. Well, one definitely set the stage for the other to follow. Right, yeah, it makes, because the conflict between Athens and Sparta started as a result of the aftermath of the Persian Wars in the first place. Or didn't they say that they drank rivers dry in there? Something like that. Was there a river next to Thermopylae? Or was that just to make it look cool because there's a lot of ships? I imagine there was probably a river nearby. Every probably. city had that's probably a right. river. They got the shields right. I like yep. the shields. Like, triangle, that's a Greek letter lambda which is short for Lacedaemon, which is what the Spartans called their, their own city. They called it Lacedaemon. Right now, I say we drench the gods with their blood. What say you, Spartans? As the, the Spartans lost. They put on a good show. They did put on a good show, because there's just a couple hundred of them and another thousand of some other Greeks that no one really seems to ever talk about. That's cool. Right, because 400 <laughs> standing up an army against a million is, you know, right. David versus Goliath. They just bought, and the thing about it is Thermopylae was so far north of Sparta, that's why they told them not to go. Like, they were sort of defending a lot more of Greece. They had to go through a ton of other parts of Greece to get to Sparta, and they kind of just bought the rest of Greece time by sacrificing themselves. That, that must be Ephialtes. Yeah, the traitor. Yep. Did they make him hideous and loathe them? No, he's just a dude. Well, that's too bad. I know. Be well, wasn't he kicked out of uh, Sparta because he was deformed or malformed? Something like that. Yeah, I mean, again, that's the story. I don't know how, if it's from Herodotus, we don't really know how much truth there is to it. And the graphic novel obviously played that up just more than a little bit. But we do know that the Spartans would abandon their babies. They would, yeah. If the baby, because all the male full Spartan citizens were trained to be full-time soldiers. They had like enslaved the entire area of, of, around Sparta to essentially farm all, all the land and give the food to the Spartans so they wouldn't have to be farmers. It was the only polis or city 
and all of Greece that had the setup. If you couldn't hack it, they'd literally just abandon you to die. Pretty dramatic death scene. True to what we know, they all died to the last man. Yep, they definitely did. Are they gonna show Xerxes in this? I believe so. All right, I hope he's not a 10-foot gold-painted thing like in the movie. Full of nose rings and earrings. Full of nose rings and just wearing a little tiny little like G-string gold underwear thing. Definitely a Persian cap. Yeah. I'm glad they made the Persians just look like the Greeks and not make them look so foreign and Eastern, like, because that's more accurate. Well, if you could have, it couldn't have been Xerxes. Yeah, it couldn't have been Xerxes. Was that Ephialtes? After this, Xerxes just, just like, went home right. and left his lieutenant to, like, lose the rest of the war. To prevent Sparta's fall! Oh, happy times. Child sacrifices. <laughs> cool. Yeah, this is accurate. And like we said, they just would sacrifice children if they didn't like, if they weren't strong enough. But I guess I could see an oracle telling him to do it too. That seems. It was really like yeah. last resort, last chance to appease the gods for whatever they've done. I like the names. Marine is accurate. She's right? the queen, right? Uh, no, that would have been Gorgo. It's just oh, like right. I know there's a play where she's a character. It just means shrub, but it was a common enough Greek name. Is that like the main character as a child or one yeah. of the two? Okay. Yeah, obviously he's a, the childless. <laughs> I guess right. they guess they chose Cassandra. As a child, you get to well, when you play, you get to choose which gender you want to right. play. And I think you could swap during the game. And oddly enough, that would have been more accurate to Sparta than anywhere else, even though they were so militaristic and they would just lead you to die if you were like sort of deformed. They were they kind of gave women the ability to at least speak in public. Didn't they also train with the boys up to a certain They age? did, yeah, as far as I remember. Father. No oh, look speaking Greek, Father. That's true. It's it's like daddy. Halter of the Cyclops. Well, I don't know if there was an altar to a Cyclops. But Cyclops. I mean, maybe there would be, like in a town that was dedicated to blacksmiths. I mean, Possibly. They were great creators and they yeah. kind of represented the primordial forces of the earth. And I guess these are just going through random small towns throughout Greece and they could have their own local cults to whatever they would, they would have, I guess. Make... It does seem a bit odd to have an altar for yeah, a monster, odd. but. It's famous for get, you know, being made to get drunk and have their eye gouged out by Odysseus. Well, they did help Zeus during the, the war. That's true. Be right, pretty much they were pretty big douchebags. <laughs> yeah, they were not great. Ooh, there's kind of Temple of Aphrodite. It is killing civilians now? I think there are guards in the, ah, in right. the temple. Maybe because it's the Temple of Aphrodite, there's a bunch of pink stuff. Sinus. <laughs> He was one of the brigands that Theseus killed on his way to Athens, was Sinus. Wasn't he the pine bender? He was the pine bender. Yeah, he would put, he would tie it to like two pine trees and pull them all apart where you'd be torn in half. And Theseus just did that to him. I do like all of the flowers. I mean, the Greeks, just like the Romans, love bringing the outside and nature into their home. All that would have been fairly accurate. Looks like they're at very close quarters, which would be accurate because they would literally just ram into each other. That's how they fought ship battles. I don't know about the fire sword. Obviously there's some sort of mythological thing going on in this game on, on top of the history. Interesting idea to blend the mythology of ancient Greece and yeah. the history. Because to the Greeks, they would have been, you know, one and the same. It's funny because our history of the Peloponnesian War comes from Thucydides, who very much was not a guy that would use the, the, the opposite, or at least self-claiming to be the opposite of Herodotus. So when you read about it, you read about it from a very non-mythological point of view. I feel like this hand-to-hand -hand combat is pretty brutal. Stretch your mighty hands. Ah, the one eye. The one eye. Kuklops. <laughs> they got Empedocles. They got like a Empedocles. <laughs> you want to take this Empedocles? Oh, no, I'll, I'll let you take this one because I'm going to get it mixed up a little bit. And is that a belt of skulls? Those must be like trophies. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. that's a Cyclops, so some, I guess the eye. Oh, Brontes, yeah, the Thunderer. Do we get Argus and Steropes as well? We're going to kill the Cyclops. They'd be very strong, but sort of dumb. And just talking in grunt seems accurate. He needs a big piece of wood. <laughs> Drive it into that eye. He needs a lot of wine and a large <laughs> pointed off piece yes, of wood. Big sharp pointed stick. Just like stick. Odysseus did. Oh, and don't forget the clever lie when he says he's nobody. I am no one. I am no one. Who has blinded you? No one no has one blinded me. Well, then I guess it's cool. <laughs> I'll just leave you alone. <laughs> Probably the punishment of the gods. <laughs> the bigger they are, the more I have to stop them. First civilization artifact. Prometheus? Like, not the god, I mean like the movie where aliens came to Earth right, and no. led to people. Is it like one of those kinds of deals? I think they're referring to like an, uh, like an early civilization, okay. like Bronze Age, okay. maybe Mycenaean. 
Oh, the Minotaur. Sometimes just a dude with a bullhead, sometimes just everything sort of both. It seems to be everything sort of both, but then also a bullhead. That's cool. The horns look lovely and menacing. They and... do. I like the back hair. That, that, that's a nice touch. The sort of back mohawk. It's interesting how you're glomming on the Cyclops and the Minotaur onto the Peloponnesian War. Well, and you wouldn't want to lose this fight because that Minotaur would eat you. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah the Cyclops that's... would eat you too, wouldn't it, though? Yeah, because like, Cyclops would just, he just grabbed the, his friends and bashed them on the wall and just ate them, <laughs> you know, the Odyssey. I mean, most monsters would just sort of eat you, that sort of... Kind of a monster thing to yeah, do. Yeah, sort of a monster thing to do. Where are we? Are, are we in the labyrinth again? Sure. You'd think it would be the labyrinth, considering so. that's where he was imprisoned, but... but... Crete doesn't really have any... Why would you be in Crete if it's the Peloponnesian War? Mater would be so proud. Mater, again. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna take the horn. Oh, there's a bunch of dudes got turned into stone. Medusa? I'm, I'm interested in this one. That's a really tragic story. They made, they made her really ugly. Of course they did. Oh, her eyes have like a laser beam power now. That's, that's how they do it. Essentially, she was punished with her appearance. I thought it was Athena. She, I because think you, yeah, Poseidon yeah. like tricked her into going to a, into Athena's temple where right. Poseidon had his way with her. And Athena yeah, decided and Athena, to punish her. Because if you have sex in uh, the temple of a virgin goddess, it's really not a good thing. So she was, she was, she was beautiful before and she was turned into this hideous thing. And then if, if you looked at her, she would, you obviously, you, you, would, you would turn to stone. And uh, I mean, some depictions, she's kind of just looks not so ugly, but with snake hair and some, some they make her like really unattractive. Well, and they loved Medusa in the ancient world. I oh, mean, yeah. she was on like lamps because they believed that she was so powerful she would turn away the evil spirits. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Perseus defeated her by hold, like, looking at her and in the inside of his shield is like a mirror, so he wouldn't actually see her, but Alexios has no shield, so I'm wondering how he's gonna do this. Probably avoid that. If it's pictured as a death beam, as opposed to just looking at her period, then it becomes not quite so bad. Uh, and when Medusa was the only, she had two other sisters who were immortal and she was the only mortal one. Yeah, that's, that's right. She was the only mortal one. Gosh, who were the other two? I remember they were the Gorgons. I couldn't remember the name, top of my head. Oh, Steno and Ureli. They, that's there who they go. were. I was about to give the names of the Furies. Like, that's the wrong set of three women that do bad things to men. There's like five of those. Uh, there's so many groups the, of like three. Three. The Fates, the, the Furies, the, the Gray Eyes, the, the Graces. The Graces, the Gorgons. It's always three. It's always three. And you don't want to get on the bad side of, of any of any those of three women groups, <laughs> and it's bad news. Well, I can't imagine that Medusa would have been a great warrior, considering, you know, she was basically a Greek woman. Unless she was an Amazon, which she was not. She could just look at you, so I don't know. Maybe her martial prowess came with her, her punishment. Possibly. I always felt bad for Medusa. Yeah. Tricked into things, punished for it. It was really all the man's fault. You just take a snake from her head like you took the, the horn from the Minotaur. So yeah, taking souvenirs like every Greek hero would do. That's true, yeah. I guess this was really more of a mythological thing. Like I was thinking it was gonna be a lot of Peloponnesian War stuff and we got some of that at the start. It was fun to see how they portrayed the Minotaur and the Cyclops and Medusa. I would love to know more what the plot of the game was and how those monsters sort of fit into the larger Peloponnesian War narrative. I played the game and uh, I really loved it. One of the things I really liked about the games were all of these little Easter eggs that they gave us. Seeing Empedocles was great. These things that we've studied about for years, they took time and they took effort and they put them into the game to make it rich. People who took, made this game really took time and effort to make it as real for us as mythology can possibly be, since it was not real. I'm Brad Holmes. I'm Kyle Smith-Laird. For more Experts React, check out Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. See you soon. Hi, welcome. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. I'll try it again. Ex Experts React, for now. All right. <laughs> oh, I messed up footage. <laughs> Feetage. <laughs> He's like, yes, I will do that again. You'll do it? No, no, you, oh. you can do it, please. <laughs> okay.